the force from the ground is going to ripple up through, through this poor guy's head, but straight into my knuckles, into my wrist. I'd be lucky not to break my hand doing this. So again, that's where our palm strikes would come in. Palm strike, palm strike. Again, it's like I'm doing push-ups on his head. Okay, here's a little question I got in regards to punching from the mount. Let's just say it's a sporting situation where this situation has occurred and a person is on top of another individual punching. Or self-defense. To make it sound less morbid, let's put it in a sporting scenario. Seeing as I like punching and striking, it's still an interesting question to me. What would be the best way to strike the individual when they're all trapped up, you know, the individual trapped up, what's the best way to punch? Now the mount is obviously when a person is on top of another person. It's not a dog breeding term or anything like that. I've met quite a few dogs in my time. I'll leave that joke there so I don't get people outside with protest banners and stuff like that. Everything's offensive now. Offense, offense, offense. Speeding is offensive. Swearing in front of children is offensive. Picking my nose on a date is offensive. So, there's something up there. You gotta get it out. Okay, so one thing in what people say in a street fighting scenario, they say never use a closed fist when throwing a punch. Why? Because the human skull is a very hard piece of the body. A lot of the time, you're gonna break your knuckles on somebody's head. And if somebody even puts their head down like so, and you punch them along this, along this sort of, this sort of region here, it's gonna do a lot of it's gonna do a lot of damage to your knuckles. You're not wearing gloves, you're gonna find it very awkward. Unless you're getting sweet spots on the face, the jaw, even the jaw, jaw is a hard spot. It's a good knockout point, but it's a hard spot to punch. And bone on bone, it's never good. It's never good. Palm strikes, yeah, your hands are a lot wider. As, as long as your thumb isn't out, you keep your thumb in. You keep that so that this this doesn't happen, because that's that's big trouble. So keep it, you know, going for the palm strike, hitting with the palm of your hand. This is always going to work. It's going to, you know, with whichever way that you do it. You palm strike somebody in the chin, you palm them in the, in, in the, um, palm them in the eye socket, you palm them in the nose, you palm the top of the head, you, you're not going to break your knuckles, you're not going to break your hands. It doesn't feel as satisfying as punching somebody in the face. And, <laughs> Let me tell you, there are a lot of people that I like to punch in the face. Probably a better tactic, using the palm of your hands. With a body on the floor. Can you see what the problem would be physics-wise if I was to be using my knuckles and I was to be punching... Okay? And we see this in sporting scenarios all the time, and it's great. Ends in a knockout. If the person is not keeping their chin in, and not trying to get up, bang, bang, and the head... The back of the head hits, hits the ground. Now again, that's the reason why I want to put this in a sporting scenario environment and not a street environment. Because this is bad news. Somebody that is on the floor and getting clobbered, concussion is probably the best outcome here. Right? You're going to kill somebody if you put them on the concrete and you're doing this. I don't know if you've ever gotten two hard, two hard bowling balls and just knocked them together. Have you seen what happens? there is a ripple effect. That is what will happen with a person's head on concrete if they haven't hit the head already when they've fallen down. And then this following up, that's going to make big trouble. It is a cascade effect. You're going to find yourself in big, big shit. If this person is injured, injured or worse, what do you think is going to happen to the person that's on top doing this? The police. There's court. Possibly jail time. The darkness on your soul, is that really something that an individual wants on their conscience? I mean, Jiminy Cricket will kick my ass. But, for martial arts sake and, and hypothetical scenarios, that's why we're doing this. So, again, we can do our western boxing sort of punching. We can do our, our Chinese straight blasting sort of, sort of thing here. This is all keeping in mind that the arms have been tracked up. So we've, we've, we've trapped up the arms, we've got a clear space to the face. 
This is just like when you're standing up, only this person is on the floor now. Going back to the physics side, with the impact that my hand makes with the head here, or the face, if the head is in fact on the ground, the force from the ground is going to ripple up through, through this poor guy's head, but straight into my knuckles, into my wrist. I'd be lucky not to break my hand doing this. So again, that's where our palm strikes would come in. Palm strike, palm strike. Again, it's like I'm doing push-ups on his head. It, it, it's like I'm doing push-ups on his head because the force is going straight into my elbows. Right? Again, this works standing up, but it's so much easier on your wrists. It's so much easier on your arms, on your body. And you're not going to do damage to yourself. This, although it may look awesome, or looks great in movies, it's, it's going to break the hell out of your hands. And if you're one of those guys with iron fists, then more power to you. Good stuff. But I wouldn't advise it. So, so that's a bit of that. Probably not advisable to train with a friend because I don't know a lot of people that would let me punch their head on the ground. So again, that's why we're using our grappling dummy here. It helps us with things, it helps us train things that we ordinarily wouldn't train on people. And he makes a great TV buddy. Because nobody really wants to sit down and watch KISS concerts with me from the 80s anymore because they're kind of, kind of over my stuff, so... Anyway.